Hi, it's Pastor Dan and it's time for Kids Church. I'm glad you're here. I want to talk about something special today. So I'm out in the backyard in our house here in Madison and I want to show you something about our backyard. If you look off back in that corner of the yard, that's where our pets are buried. The dogs and cats that, and iguanas and birds that we have owned, we always bury in the same place so that we can remember them, so that we can tell our stories about them, so that we can feel that they are honored in a special place. But they're not really there. You know that they're not really in their bodies after they die. Sometimes people are scared to talk about that. Sometimes you see even grown-ups not talking about the idea of our pets dying because they don't want to upset us. They don't want to scare us but it's not really something that we need to be scared of. The reason we don't have to be scared of it is that we know that God always surrounds us with love. God always promises to take care of us wherever we are, whatever happens to us. So that means we don't have to worry about anything involving life or involving death. Even if people that we love die, we don't have to be afraid for them it's sad, of course, when people we love die, because that means that we can't play with them, we can't visit with them, we can't hear stories from them, we can't bake cookies with them, but we still love them. And we know that God still loves them. And we know that God promises never to let go of us. God cares about you and me. And that means that God cares about the people we love and won't ever let go of them. That's something special about God, that wherever we are and whatever happens to us, God loves us and holds us close. I believe that God takes care of us always, always, and never lets go of us. So that means we don't have to be afraid about what happens to our loved ones. They're not stuck in a box or stuck underground or stuck scattered over the ocean or anything else. They are loved by God and held in God's arms, and safe forever. And that's a wonderful thing. So we don't have to be worried about that. We don't have to fret about it. And if we have questions, we should be free to ask them and not worry about whether we're going to make people uncomfortable with our questions. <laughs> there are questions that we can ask and questions that we can think about. But if you get nervous or worried about people who are dying or people who have died or pets who have died, don't be worried. We can always take those questions and those worries to God. Even if grown-ups are afraid to talk about the subject, and sometimes they are, weird as that sounds, no, we know God is not afraid to talk about those things. God is not afraid to listen to our prayers and care about us always. So we can always pray with confidence, knowing that God hears us and cares about us, surrounds us with love, and never lets go of us. That's a good thing, isn't it? I like to sing a song called Amazing Grace, which reminds me always that God loves us and is amazing in holding on to us no matter what happens to us, even when we get lost, even when we get afraid. It goes, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. We can always pray and know that God helps us out. God surrounds us with a love that won't quit. So will you pray with me now? God, we thank you for this every day. We thank you for loving us and caring for us always and for taking care of the people we love and the pets we love, for surrounding us with a love that goes on and on and never lets go. Sometimes we worry about things, God, and we're afraid to talk about them. We're afraid to ask questions about them. We just stew about them over and over in our minds and in our hearts. But you always hear us. You always know our worries and our thoughts and our fears. You always know when we're confused. 
you always know what we need. And so we can always bring all of our thoughts to you. We can talk to you anytime, and that gives us a real sense of confidence. So thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for lifting us up. We pray for our families, for our parents and our grandparents, for our uncles and aunts, for our relatives and our neighbors, for the other kids in school, for our brothers and sisters, and everybody we know. We know confidently that you will care for us all, that you won't ever let go of us. For that we give you thanks always, and promise to be the best people we can be. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you'll take it easy this week and have a good time. I hope you'll enjoy the snow. I hope you'll have a good time playing in the snow. And I will talk to you soon. I'll talk to you next time on Kids Church. God bless you all. Bye-bye for now.